everyone! Welcome back to Teaching from a Distance. If this is your first time joining us, my name is Danielle Polk and I am a literacy coach. In today's episode, we're going to talk about creating a Google Meet using your Google Classroom. We can create a Meet link right from our Google Classroom by clicking on the gear icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. This will take us into our settings, and when we scroll down to general, we can see that the Meet icon is right here. When we click on Generate Meet Link, it will create a code specific to our classroom. That means we have increased privacy settings and students can't rejoin after the meeting has ended. So we have our Meet Link here. We can also copy that code and send it out via an announcement or an assignment. And if we think that our code has been compromised in any way, we can click reset and it will generate a new code. Once we have that generated, we hit save and you'll see that the code is generated in our banner. We can copy and paste the code into an announcement. And when we click on the classwork tab, our meet link is right here waiting for us. So when we click on this, you can see that our, our camera is starting and we can join our Meet. We can also leave by clicking on the X button and we can increase the privacy settings and we can make this link invisible by toggling over to the tab that says visible to students. Now that this link is off, when we hit save, it will then disappear from our banner. So our advice to you is don't make it visible until we're ready to start our meeting. One of the pros for creating a Google Meet in your Google Classroom is that the visibility settings are a little bit more secure than our traditional way. If we had created our Google Meet in say Calendar or via Gmail, the link is a little bit more open. When we create our Google Meet in our Google Classroom, it acts as a nicknamed meeting. This means that students cannot enter until you as the instructor have joined or started the meeting and they cannot rejoin after the meeting has ended and you have left. That being said, a tip for today, there's a little bit of lag time after the instructor ends the meeting. It's about 25 seconds. So a good practice as the instructor is to wait about half a minute or so after your last student has left. That way they can't pop back in and then you're left with an unsupervised Google Meet. There's a lot to do with Google Meet. So if there's anything that you see today that you would like discussed in further detail, or if there is something you would like demonstrated, please feel free to reach out to me by emailing me at dpolk at carneyschools.com or by leaving a comment below. And we'll see you next time from a distance.